So in this episode, we are in Anchorage, and then we take a drive out to Talkeetna to explore Talkeetna, and then make our way back to Anchorage. Can't wait to show you guys. We are Emma and Jack Lindsay. Together with our daughter, we love to travel and experience different places. How we get there and what we do is always different. Life is too short, so get out and live a little. Definitely wouldn't want to run into these guys in the wild. They are... I come up to here. They are huge. They are big boys. Definitely don't want to see those guys. <laughs> Unless I'm like in a car that can drive me away very fast. They are big. I just read their plaques. I'm not running into the polar bear, thank goodness. But this brown bear is off the Alaska Peninsula and Kodiak Island. So there could be a chance of running into this guy, and he is a big boy. He is 1,500 pounds, and height is over 10 feet. No thanks. Good morning from Anchorage. We are in Anchorage. I didn't have too many things that I really wanted to do in Anchorage, and we were supposed to be flying up to Fairbanks and then taking a train, like a covered train down today. But Alaskan Airlines decided to go on strike and it wasn't worth the risk for us to get stuck in Seattle. So we switched it to just come to Anchorage because that was the more affordable option. Um, it's going to be almost 70 degrees today. It is going to be almost 70 degrees today. Jack's complaining because he didn't pack appropriately because we thought it was supposed to be like 40s and 50s. At least that's what it said before we left. Um, so today we decided that we were going to hop in the car and drive out to Talkeetna and see how the day goes. We may take another little like slight detour depending on how clear it is where you can see Denali if it's nice enough out. But it's a really nice day so fingers crossed because that would be really cool. So let's go and see what we can see. Oh and just to clarify we are doing this land portion of this trip ourselves can do it through the cruise lines. Personally, I like to travel and I like to plan what we're gonna do usually. And once I did some research, it just seemed like a better idea for us to do this one on our own. It gave us a lot more freedom and it just, it made more sense for us. So this is not with a cruise line. This is 100% on our own. to Talkeetna. Let's go explore. Did you know that Talkeetna was the inspiration for the town in Northern Exposure? Welcome to Talkeetna, the town that has a cat as a mayor for the past 20 something years. The original cat mayor named Stubbs had passed away in July of 2017 after being 20 years old, but they have since elected a new cat mayor. The new mayor's name is Denali. If you head all the way down past Main Street, you'll come to this little park, which is the best place to possibly see Denali. It's where the three rivers meet, the Talkeetna River, the Susitna River, and the Chulitna River. That is Denali right there. How cool. Denali. How cool. 
That is so cool. Yeah. The fact that only like three percent of the people that go to see it actually get to see it, and we got to see it. Very cool. Just for reference, we're still like sixty to eighty miles from it, so that's how big it is. And how clear of a day it is. So, very cool. Very exciting. Can't get over how cool this is. I'm so excited that we got to see it too, and like see the whole peak, like. Where you see those clouds, that's usually what most people see of Denali, like underneath those. The fact that we get to see the peak is breathtaking and so cool. How tall it is. I will do the research and put it out at the bottom. It's very tall. So this is the brewery that's like down on the strip of Talkeetna, but if you drive down the road, there's also a the actual brewery to go to as well. So do whatever is most convenient for you. Both options are good. Next, it was time for a snack, so we headed to Mountain High Pizza Pie. If you like pizza, this is a great shop. A lot of outdoor seating, really good pizza. You go in and order at the counter, and they give you a number. You go sit down, they'll call your number, and you go grab your food. They take pride in creating their own sauces, meats, and breads daily. Go enjoy a great pie and some live music. I got the game on pie. Yummy. So as Jack takes forever to eat this, I will tell you what is in it. It is reindeer dry roast, sausage, oh, mozzarella, cheesy. basil, and onion. <laughs> good? Yeah, that's good. Gyro is really good. It was what, reindeer gyro on top? And reindeer sausage. And reindeer you sausage. The, you can taste both the sausage and the reindeer. Or and the gyro. Nice. This is yummy. <clears throat> the gyro and sausage and that is really, 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 really good. The dough on this is also really good, and that's coming from a New York City girl, and that is, this is probably definitely better pizza than we've managed to find in Denver, that's for sure. Um, if you're coming to Telkeetna, definitely, definitely stop here and get a pie. Then we did some shopping. We stopped at the Wooden Spoon Co. I would definitely recommend stopping here and checking it out. It's very cool. The man carves all of the spoons by hand, and he tries to keep everything under $50. They have left-handed, right-handed spoons, and they have specific ones for baking, skillets, and even crock pots. So what'd you think of Telekita? It was a cute town. It was cute. It's not very big, so don't go there expecting like a whole bunch, but they have some cute stores. The river is really pretty where they all like connect to go look at, especially if it's nice enough where you could actually see Mount Denali like we were fortunate enough to see. Um, it was really cute. So we actually were hopping in the car to go to um, Denali Brewery and... They have a brew pub in Telkina. Which I showed. Or they have the brewery which we're heading to. And the brewery is like 12 miles down the road from where like the main strip of Telkina is. So we are going to head there and then I think we're going to possibly, hopefully, stop off at a birch syrup place because that just sounds different and fun so why not and then i think we're gonna be heading back to anchorage see what time it is and everything but i think that's the plan for today calling up to denali brewery I'm gonna go grab a drink We both did some different flights to try some of their beers. Jack did five, I did four. I'm excited to try them. Jacks are all the same color, mine are a little different. Jack said they were good, almost like introductory IPAs, not as complex as some, but like your mainstream IPAs. Good for what they are. They have like pizza and some snacks and stuff. We decided to go with wings since we just ate pizza. They look really good. Jack's telling me if they're worth it since I'll have to take a dairy pill. <sighs> worth it. They're the, kind of the drumsticks we like that are not overly breaded. They're like the striped in skin. And they're good. 
Poke Jack is right. These are really good. <laughs> and they're grilled, they're not fried, so. Well, they're fried, they're fried but then they're also grilled. And I like that. I like them when they're not too fried and greasy, and these definitely are not. But they're like fall off the bone, moist, good. Yummy, yummy. We were about to walk out, and then I saw this. And we had the spruce tips in the beer in Skagway, and thought that it was delicious, so I had to try it. And it's really good. It's almost like a mojito mixed with like a gin and tonic. So we bought a four pack to bring home because it was delicious. Okay, Denali Brewing Company was very good. I was a fan. I like some beers more than others, but I feel like that's, that's every, brewery. every brewery, so that's expected. Um, I'm, they also have spirits. Yeah, they did have a lot of spirits, and I'm so happy that I tried their gin before we left. They only had their gin, like just the gin to go in like, uh, that was a huge piece. What do you think, like a gallon sized? Yeah. Thing, and I was like, that's a little too much to take home with us. Sorry, I almost missed the turn. <laughs> so, there are no road signs in Alaska. Oh, it's closed. No! Was, it, that. was it open today? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh man. There was a birch syrup place that I really, really, really wanted to go to, but it's closed. It's really bumpy. Right. Jeez. I guess we're going back to Anchorage. So we're heading back to Anchorage now, but going back to Denali Brewing, yeah, their the gin, the spruce tip gin was really good. I really wish I could have gotten like a big thing of their gin because it was definitely very different, but it was too big to take home with us. So I went with a four pack uh, of their mixed one. A live a little tip here. You need a GPS or your phone or something to get around here because there's just pine trees that line the road, so there's no signs you can see on where to turn. You can see, yeah, just trees. Yeah, and signage is pretty minimal, and it's kind of just like you're just driving, and then all of a sudden, doop, right there is like to get off. So I was really looking forward to the birch syrup. That stinks. Oh well, I've seen it in a few other places. We can always maybe buy it, just to try it ourselves. But Talkeetna was definitely worth the visit. Besides the fact that I saw a moose on the and drive we, and, and that we got to see Denali. Yeah, we can't promise either one of those <laughs> on your visit to Talkeetna, but it is a cool town. But it definitely made it better. But it was a very cute town. I mean, we've been in Alaska, granted on a cruise ship, but we have been in Alaska for the past like week or so. And I definitely bought more in Talkeetna than I had on the entire sh ship trip so yeah for people that know emma I'll give you one guess on what she purchased a bag what a surprise it was a really nice leather bag <laughs> bought some other things too but that was probably my big purchase of the day so we are headed back to anchorage now i believe and we have dinner in anchorage tonight so we will maybe show you some scenery on the drive but otherwise we will catch you in anchorage okay so we made it back to anchorage and we are heading to 49th state brewery right now um we're gonna check that out Depending on time, may check out one other one and then go to dinner. But definitely doing 49th State Brewing right now. I'll show you inside. this popcorn was addicting. It was made with their like smoked beer. So good. Next, we were off to dinner at the Rustic Goat. It's a warm industrial chic spot offering elevated take on American comfort food and some craft beers.
We got the Thai lettuce wraps. They were delicious, very large portion. They had a nice kick to it, but not overly spicy. It was cold and a great appetizer. Would definitely suggest sharing it as an appetizer, but honestly, you could do it as a meal as well. Then we got the bison sliders to share. The fries were amazing. You got two sliders in an order. They were delicious little burgers. The bison had a nice crust on the outside. The thick jam added a nice little sweetness to it. Would definitely recommend them. We decided to get the pizza to go after we saw the size of the appetizer. We got the sriracha glazed pork belly pizza. Ooh, that looks tasty. Can't wait to dig into that in a little bit or later. It looks so good. <laughs> okay, so we just finished up at the Rustic Goat. We did not eat the pizza that we ordered. We have it right here. We will eat when we get back to the room. Their food was fantastic, but their portion sizes was like everybody was out hunting and fishing and hiking all day long and hadn't eaten all day. Their portion sizes were huge. And we weren't super hungry to begin with. We probably would have been good without the pizza. Um, but I think what we did eat was really tasty. Yeah. I would definitely recommend it to other people. It's also fast. Yeah, they were really pretty fast. And not just because we asked for the pizza to go, they were really pretty fast. Um, we were in and out of there in a little over an hour, so, or yeah, just about an hour. It reminded me of a spot you would see in like Chicago or Brooklyn. It reminded me of Brooklyn a lot. It was very industrial looking and... Everyone was much more hip than I am. <laughs> but it was definitely a good spot. And um, by the way, it's about 9.15 outside right now and it is, I have sunglasses on. It's bright out. I don't think the sun sets till a little, a little after 11 tonight. It's, yep. re it's really weird. Like you think it's earlier than it is and then you look at your watch. The weirdest part is it then rises at 4.30. Yeah. It's not dark for very long. And it's still only May, so just imagine what it would be in like, literally the middle of the summer. But that was a fun night. We're gonna head back to the hotel, go to sleep, because we have an early morning tomorrow. We wanna get out and start heading down to Homer. Emma just couldn't wait. <laughs> That gives the one we had for lunch a run for its money. This one's definitely spicy. Like it's got a lot of sriracha, but it has a little bit of the sweet from the honey, but you definitely get the sriracha at the end. That's really good. Mm. Mm. We will catch you in the next episode. Um, get out and live a little. Well, we have a surprise when we go to Homer. We do, we haven't shared that surprise yet. So, well maybe we'll share it tomorrow in the next episode. Otherwise, I don't know, Homer I'll probably do is all one episode. <laughs> to the next episode, you'll find out what our surprise is. Uh, get out and live a little. See ya.